Okay, uh, I welcome you once again, my dear learners, in our lesson number three, class P1, math, and the teacher is teacher Didas Tumis J. Uh, in today's lesson, uh, in today's lesson, uh, we are going to look at subtraction of fractions. Okay, uh, in our last lesson, we looked at subtraction addition of fractions and uh, in today's lesson we are focusing on subtraction of fractions uh, let's go direct to the lesson uh, due to interest of time uh, those are my contacts you can reach me in case you have anything to tell me or to ask me about the lesson uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you are streaming, where we are streaming live this video. Uh, it is Christian Schools Owners Association. Uh, as I've told you earlier, that in the last lesson, uh, we looked at addition of fractions. I wanted we first make a review of that lesson before we move on. Uh, in the last lesson, I'm going to give only one example of that as we move on. Uh, suppose you have 2 out of 5 uh, plus 1 out of 5. Uh, and we say that the 2 fifth and a fifth, uh, those are the fractions. And these fractions have the two parts, have the numerator and the denominator. The one which is on top is a numerator and the one which is down is a denominator. So we said uh, we are going to put our line there to separate the numerators from the denominators. So the ones on top, it is 2 plus 1, and the ones down, it is 5 and 5. So we are only going to maintain 1, 5. So uh, since we are in P1, uh, we have to draw our counters. And here, I want to draw the first counters for 2. That is 1 and 2 and other counter is 1 for 1 so we shall add them together that is a 1 2 3 so the answer is 3 out of 5 okay ah uh, that is it now in today's lesson uh, we are going to have a look at subtraction uh, of fractions uh, that is our topic today uh, we are looking at subtraction of fractions. Suppose I have 5 out of 7 and I have 2 out of 7, the 5 7 and the 2 7. So we shall still do the same uh, by first drawing our line. Uh, we shall put the, the numerators, the ones on top together and we subtract them, 5 minus 2. And the ones down I have 7 and 7. I'm only going to maintain 1, 7. Okay? Then next is to draw the counters, the 5 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then I'm going to cross the 2. That's 1 and 2. And uh, I remain with 1, 2, 3. So my answer here is 3 out of 7. Okay? Uh, let's go on to our second example. And that is example number two in example number two i have uh, seven out of eight or seven eighth another one uh, it is a three out of eight or three eighth and uh, i'm going to draw my line to separate numerators from denominators uh, and on top of that i'm going to first write the numerators together that is seven minus three then down, since I have 8 and 8, I'm going to maintain the 8. Okay? Then after maintaining the 8, I'm going to draw my 7 counters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay? Now I'm going to cross out uh, the 3. That's 1, 2, and three. Now, what do I remain with? I remain with one, 
two, three, four. Therefore, my answer it is four out of eight. Okay. Uh, that's all I had. Uh, have, having given you the two examples, I know you can subtract for me this activity. Don't worry. It has also been posted on our Go Classroom. So you can check our Go Classroom and write this activity there. So the activity is there. That is number one. And that is number two. Uh, and that is number three. Then I have number four. And that's all. So I would like to say don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for learning with me. See you next time. Uh, please check on the playlist so that you can view the recent videos in case you may have missed them. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. May God bless you. Bye-bye. See you next time. I love you all.